Yeah, we're about to get underway. Josh is. Faceoff is at center ice on top of the Cleveland Monsters logo. We're live here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, home of the Cleveland Monsters, the 2016 Calder Cup champions of the AHL. Minor league affiliate of the Columbus Blue Jackets. They'll have a game going on tonight yeah. uh, right after uh, these games wrap up. Or if you're listening to this and you're coming down to the Monsters and you want to meet a celebrity named Josh Jeffy, he will be here at the Monsters game. So come on down and he'll be glad to sign autographs, take pictures. He'll also be glad to butcher your last name if I, as I've done <laughs> quite a bit today. So eh, you know, everyone has a talent. <laughs> So now underway, it's Team Gray versus Team Black. 9.45 as we are just underway here in period one. Team Gray now in their offensive zone. In the crease shot and a follow-up and a save by Team Black. Oh, it didn't go through. As Laskin did not know that puck was behind him, it was trickling on the line. And Two on one though now, Josh for Team Black. As they went way too far to the right and a nice job. Great defense there by Team Gray. We'll have to say, is that Jason uh, Hildebrand? Is he getting a chance at goaltender? Because it was Nick Harris. That's what I I can't. Uh, we'll have to check his number as uh, now right of the circle. Nick Harris was the goaltender in the Team Gray's first game as they win. And now it's in the neutral zone area. Team Gray has it along the right boards. Center ice. Now Team Black in the neutral zone area on the right point. Now on the right wing. Doesn't make it there. It's at the point and a steal by Team Gray and he has, it's one on one all the way. Out. What a behind the back pass, a shot and a goal by Team Gray. What a play. It's Aiden Dempsey of Rocky River, a behind the back pass. And Team Gray is on the board. Excellent job. It was a breakaway. Uh, went on a one-on-one, -on -one, then to a two-on-one. -on -one. Dempsey was able to receive that pass. Great pass and score over the left pad of his last game. one nothing. eight minutes left. Just a reminder, it is a running clock. Two 10-minute periods, running clock. And we have another quick goal. Oh, Number 10, Alex Cole of Hudson is able to get that one behind his Laskin. So real quick, two quick goals, 7.39 remaining, and now a team great with a early 2 to nothing victory, or 2 nothing lead in this game. Yeah, don't count them out yet, Josh. It's 2 nothing, 7.27, and now another. Here it comes, and as Laskin just tried to cover, in front of their own net here. Team Black trying to clear the zone. They finally gain control of the puck in the back of their own net, now on the left wing. And here comes Team Black. They're looking to try to do something here. All the way, and no shot on goal. It's on the right point now. And it was Jason Pierchal of Normandy that had it. Now here comes Team Black on the right side. A shot that went wide, and that was Jacob Kramer of Amherst with a shot. He gets it back in front of the net and he lost control in front of the net. As now a shot from the left point that trickled through but went wide right as Will Holden of Lakewood tried that shot on goal. It's in team great uh, territory as Will Holden another shot from the left wing went wide. So now on the left side, it's Team Gray as they try to put it in the center. So for Team Gray, it is Jason Hildebrand of Kenston at goaltender. Thanks for confirming that, Josh. So now, Team Gray has it on the left wing. Now in the neutral zone area, stolen by Team Black as they look to get something going here. It's Sonny Elbert of Elyria Catholic on the left side, now on the right side. Team Black with a turnover, and here comes Team Gray in the neutral zone area along the left boards. Try to go between the legs of the defender there. 
And that was Caden Jeppy of Mayfield. And here comes Team Black in the neutral zone area on the left wing. It's Jack McElwee of Aurora on the left wing now. Centering pass that didn't make it there. Stolen by Team Gray. Still in the zone. Team Gray controls the puck along the boards. Still kept in, though. As here comes Team Gray on the right wing. A shot, save, a follow-up, another save. And Team Gray was Ethan Rutenberg with a few shots on goal. Yeah, they had actually on that possession three on one. As Laskin, nice job with facing those shots. Team Gray again, all the way to the goal. And that was Alex Cole of Hudson. Now Team Black has it. And that's Christopher Reitman of Avon as it's stolen by Team Gray in the neutral zone area. Now Team Black tries to regain control. It's Pierchala who had it and then lost it. Team Gray along the left boards in the neutral zone area. Now dumps it into Team Black territory there. So Team Black, here they come. Another turnover, and here comes Team Gray. One on one between the legs and a shot and a goal! <laughs> Aiden, Aiden Dempsey. Aiden Dempsey wow. went around and threw his legs for an outstanding goal. That's his second of this game. It's Aiden Dempsey two, Team Black nothing. Dang, what an absolute gem that was. The team, the team great goal scored by number 12. So now... Here comes Team Gray again on the offensive. They lead 3-0 with 3.30 left here in the first period. What an absolute gem that was between the legs a shot. And that was a Sports Center highlight. And there's a goal by Team Black as they answer. And that looks like Jason Pierchala of Normandy. We'll have to double check that, but that was a quick one. So now we'll have to uh, get that now Team Black on the board. It's 3-1, to one, and there's a shot from the right wing and a nice save there by Hildebrand of Kenston. And with 2.45 left, it's now 3-1. to one. So it was Jason Pierchala with a goal and Will Holden with the assist. And now right away, Team Black with another goal. And it's 3-2 to two now. That was quick right off the faceoff. So now faceoff at neutral ice. And here comes Team Black. In the neutral zone area now on the right wing. Now almost stolen away by Team Gray as they look to control the puck on the left wing. The centering pass all the way down in the black zone now around and back of the net. Still in back of the net, a fight for the puck and here comes Team Black. Jacob Kramer on the left wing in front of the goal, a shot. And he didn't get it off. He still has it over on the right wing where Team Gray looks to clear. And now here comes Team Gray all the way down. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity. What a move. It was Logan Fortune. And what a great move as he deked him out and scored. And now it's a 4-2 gray lead over Team Black here in the 2020 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game. Just an absolute beautiful move by Logan Fortune of Rocky River, and he extends the lead now. And now here's Team Gray comes right back, and this time Team Black in back of their own net handles the puck now on the right wing. Now in the 
Left corner and back of the net. Kyle Wilson, Aiden Depsey, a shot to save by his Laskin of Avon Lake. And here comes Team Black. So he looked to clear the zone. Still kept in by Gray. And now here comes Sonny Albert of Valeria Catholic for Team Black as he dumps it down. And it's covered by Gray in back of their own net now. Team Gray looks to put pressure on as they dump it all the way back down in Team Black zone where it's whistled for icing. As we get ready for a faceoff left to circle, but we're running out of time here in the first period as the referees look at the clock, and that will be the end of the first period with Team Gray leading 4-2 to two over Team Black. Period is underway. So underway for period number two between Gray and Black. Gray has a four to two lead. So now Gray has it in the black zone and back of the net. And they have it now on the right wing. A pass that's gonna go all the way back into the, the black zone. Black is going left to right. Gray is going right to left. Nick Harrison, goal now for Team Gray. Yeah, so a little switch up there and a shot, and Nick Harris with a glove save. It's Team Black. It was uh, Jack Parada of CVCA with a shot and a great save. Yeah, that got some oohs and ahs from the crowd. Nice little glove save. Yeah, there's been some really great saves here in this game, in the, in the senior all-star game here. So now, Gray wins the faceoff, has it in their own zone where Black is still trying to keep it in, but here comes Team Gray, and it's Alex Cole of Hudson on the left wing, dumps it in back of their own net. He still controls the puck now on the right wing. Now he's at the right point. Still kept in, though, at the right point, and he still has the puck. Right wing. A centering pass in front of the goal. Oh, and they had a centering pass pass to the left side and it went wide and still though in the gray offensive zone as team gray still has it on the left wing and now in back of the net and that looks like it's James Bial now a, a steal by team black as they're in the neutral zone area they try to dump it down but it was uh, Bial with a steal for Team Gray. Now they're in the neutral zone area. Now on the left side. And that's Alex Cole of Hudson on the left wing, but they were off sides. Yeah, a little too aggressive in trying to get out in front of the puck and try to get uh, towards the goal for Team Gray and make this a 5-2 game. So now Team Gray, here they come in the offensive zone. As they do turn it over, and here comes Team Black. Neutral zone area on the right side. Now on the right wing, a centering pass on the left, and a nice save by Harris off his pad as Team Black getting some pressure at Sonny Elbert of Illyria Catholic. Here's Team Gray, though, with a steal, and now in the neutral zone area. Looked like Hunter Jeppe, who had it and lost it, but now it's Jared Crawford of Normandy with a shot and a goal, and it's Jared Crawford of Normandy with a shot on the left side, and it gets through. Yeah, for his last in there, I think he couldn't track the puck. He had a couple of his own players in his line of sight. Team Gray was able to just sneak that one over his glove side. So 5-2 to two now. 5-2 to two Team Gray with 6.30 left here as they're beating Team Black. Here in the consolation game of the 2020 Senior Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League All-Star Draft. In front of the goal, it's Team Black. Nick Harris brushes aside now around the net. They're looking, and a shot that went wide and high is Jacob Kramer of Amherst Steel. He still has it. In the crease, now a shot that went wide again by Jacob Kramer, and he looks up and says, oh, man, I had a great chance there. Wow, Rob, that was good. He, that's exactly what he said. I know. I, I read his lips from up here. It's crazy. When you have these eyes. 
So it's 5-2 to two with 5.50 left here in the final period of the consolation game. Team Gray versus Team Black. It's going to be left of the circle. And one by Team Gray in their own zone. Skating around and now in the neutral zone area. Jamie Bial has it. Now over to the right wing. They missed it. A steal by Team Black. Ethan Rutenberg had it, and it was stolen by Team Black. Now they dump it down into the gray zone where Team Gray will, will win that battle, and they have the puck now. Once again, it's Rutenberg who has it in the neutral zone area, now on the right wing. Rutenberg of Rocky River all the way close to the net, tried to punch it in, couldn't do it. It's floating around, and Team Black comes away with the puck and will dump it all the way back in the gray zone. So now here comes Team Gray. Oh, as they had an opportunity and they lost the puck, as that was Alex Cole of Hudson who lost it in Team Black with a steal. Now in the neutral zone area, it's James Bial. Here he comes, a pass over to the right side. Now a centering pass, a shot, and a goal by Team Gray. And once again, <laughs> what Matt Hannon of Hudson with the goal. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, on a boat, on a rowboat. Yeah, the somewhere. rowboat celebration. Showing some team chemistry there. So now it's six to two, Team Gray. Over Team Black with four minutes left here in the Senior All Star game. Team Black needs to get some offense going as. Team Gray really dominating. It's Team Black, a one on one and a great save. Team Black is Will Holden of Lakewood who had an opportunity and a great save by Harris. Yep. Team Gray again, Josh, one on one. Yeah, Rob, but this offensive explosion by Team Gray that really gives you a good sense of how well Michael Nagy played in that first game that allowed Team Wine to go ahead and move on to the championship game. Now Team Black, shot that went wide right. That looked like it was Will Holden again. And oh, what a steal by Team Gray. And that's James Bile of Rocky River. He goes coast to coast all the way, a shot, and a save by his lax in there for Team Black. And now here comes Team Black in the neutral zone area. It's Will Holden of Lakewood on the left side. Now the left wing. Shot on goal and a save by Nick Harris, and he covers up at three minutes left here in the final period of play. Six to two, Team Gray over Team Black right now, Josh. That is correct, Rob. And again, we'd like to thank you all for listening here on Mixler. We are Sports on Tap. You can give us a like on Facebook. You uh, follow us on Twitter at SOT Podcast. And we are also on Instagram as well. As, uh, you can add in YouTube as well. And our game replays that you're hearing right now will be on YouTube uh, following today's contest. So now here's a shot that was from the blue line. And it's brushed away by his lax and his team black has it by their own net. Stolen though. And that's stolen by Logan Fortune of uh, Team Gray. Now on the left side, Team Black trying to fight along the boards. And Here's, again, Team Gray. It's 4-2 with a shot that went wide left. And Team Gray still has it now at the left wing. Now in back of the Team Black. Now in front of the goal, and Team Black able to brush it aside. And here they come as they are in the neutral zone area. It's Will Holden along the left wing. He's trying to go all the way. A shot and a block by Harris as he sets it for one of his teammates to pick it up for Team Gray along the right boards. Here comes Team Gray in the neutral zone area. They lose it. And it's Team Black with a clearing in the neutral zone area. Now Fortune on the right side. He lost it in a shot that went wide right by Team Gray. Now Team Black. Here they come. They have a two on one. Nick Harris with a shot to save a follow up and a goal by Team Black. And that was Alexander Steen of NDCL. Yeah. It's six to three now. Right place, right time. He was there for the rebound after the initial shot. Easy goal. Just dumped it to the lower right end of the of the net. In for 
his first goal of the game. So now here comes Team Black as they win the faceoff. 45 seconds left here in the final period. 6-3 to three, Team Gray over Team Black right now. As now here comes Team Gray on the offensive. Great defense there by Christopher Reitman of Avon and to uh, stick check that away. Still kept in the zone though as Team Gray still has the puck in their offensive zone. And here comes Team Black. They're looking to 15 seconds remains as Nick Harris brushes that aside. And eight seconds left as Team Black trying one more chance to get a goal in here with three seconds. And in the zone, one last shot. Not going to get it off as it's 6-3, to three, the final score. As they win 6-3 to three over Black here in the consolation game. And give credit where credit is due. It was Nick Harris with a good game for Strongsville at goaltender. As he'll get the win here as both teams going to shake hands. We're going to announce Aiden Dempsey is going to be the consolation game MVP. He had two goals in this game. Congratulations to him and Team Gray for their third place finish here in the 2020 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game. We got a little time in between games here. Uh, our next game is going to be our championship game and it's no coincidence uh, Rob that it's between wine and gold because we're <laughs> at the home of the Cleveland Cavaliers the wine and gold but team wine and team gold are going to be facing off uh, for the championship that's going to be taking place uh, in about 13 minutes or so so we're going to take a short break uh, and when we get back we'll drop the puck on our championship game on our championship game here at the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game. Step away, there we'll we take go. a short break, 6-3, to three, Gray, a winner over Black in the consolation game in the 2020 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game. When we come back, it's wine versus gold in the championship. We'll be right back. <laughs> 